Ikea that showed up when I started working with Brie was, um, you know, she really was looking for some answers. She had decided to go on this path that was fulfilling the dreams that she had for herself, but she, it was still, even though she made this really big decision to leave her full-time job, she was still one foot in, one foot out of how am I going to make this work? Um, and so it just, there was a lot of, she was putting a lot of pressure on herself and still kind of following with being type A and perfectionist and just trying to do all the things. Like have my finger in the dam, you know, every little crack I felt like I had to, I had to fix. Um, so that, that's, that's who she was at the very beginning of the program. The biggest issue when I started um, that really made me want to invest was I knew that I was going into this part of my life where the stakes were much higher. And even though I had left a full-time job to start a business before, it was, there was still a lot of safety involved with it. And with this step, there was zero safety. And I knew that I needed someone who could hold me accountable or that I was accountable to. I needed someone who was going to call me on my shit. And I needed someone who was going to, when I fell down, someone who could help me to take a step back and take that 10,000 foot view to help me get back on track faster. The biggest shift between when I started and where I am now, I there's a couple things. One, um, one, I realized that I don't have to apologize for anything. And I think the really big thing that came to me as I was talking about not apologizing, the really big thing is recognizing that whatever I am feeling is valid. There's no shame in it. You know, if I feel really angry or really sad, that it's okay. And that those feelings are valid because they need their place and space to kind of do their thing, to send me the message that I need to hear. And even though I knew that, there was something about hearing that when I felt like my back was completely against the wall that really changed the game. So the, for me, those were the two um, really big shifts. Oh, there, was, there were so many like aha, like head exploding moments being in this training. But I think the biggest surprise was how much our energy and whether we're kind of vibrating high or vibrating low, how much that really does dictate what happens, what opportunities, um, what happens to you or what opportunities come your way or don't come your way. Um, I, for me, I think hearing that and something about the way that Brie talks about it and something about the way that, you know, she kind of connects the dots, really it just, it, it hit me in a way that I was like, oh, hadn't thought about that before. So that's something that surprise me and I keep with me to this day and I share with my own clients. The very first kind of engagement with Brie in terms of working together was her anti-manifestation challenge. And in that challenge, she told us to tell ourselves that I'm the illest. And I knew that about myself, but something about going through the program and Bree's unapologetic approach to things and encouraging us to remain unapologetic. Um, something about that really helped me to fully step into that, I'm the illest, I'm a badass bitch um, way. Um, so I think that that has been the blossoming of me as I step into this new phase is really stepping into more of 
who I am and who I've always known myself to be and accepting that. Some really cool results that I have seen. So we did, Brie had us, she invited us to participate in this wealth challenge where it's just your, I think it was a week or so, or maybe a week and a half, where we were just, each day we were taking inspired actions. And oh, and that's one other thing that I learned from Brie that I really keep with me is this whole notion of taking inspired action. That it's, if nothing is forced, it's what feels good to you right now. What feels like it allows you to step in this person that you are wanting to be, and then try that. And so in this challenge, I was taking inspired actions that at the time I was like, eh, you know, I'm just, you know, I want to, I want to participate in the challenge. So these feel like cool things to do and I'm just taking a chance. And those seeds that I planted in the challenge, it took a while for them to start to sprout, but those seeds that I planted, I have gotten someone who asked, asked me to submit a proposal. I had someone who asked me to um, be a speaker on something that they, uh, like a video series that they're working on. And there are some other things that are still in development. They're still blossoming, but just to see your seeds get planted just you know, from ideas that seemingly kind of came out of nowhere, to see those start to come to life, to see conversations um, form from those seeds has been, um, has been really cool. Um, another result is where just the notion of being okay with and having confidence in being my full authentic self. You know, I remember telling Brie that, <clears throat> that I was going to be doing a webinar and the training that I was going through to prepare for this webinar didn't totally feel aligned with me, but I felt like, oh, but I've got to follow the rule. I've got to follow the process. And one thing that Brie shared with me and encouraged me to do was, okay, even if you're following this process, Make sure that you're doing things that align with who you are. And I did that. Uh, the webinar is coming up. Um, but when almost like Brie giving, the, giving me that permission, the webinar flowed. Like all blocks that I had for writing the webinar completely went away because I'm like, I'm doing this the way that I want to do it within the framework that I'm following. But it just, it was so easy to write that webinar. I feel super confident, super excited. And people, the message that I'm sharing about this webinar is totally resonating. And now I'm almost at capacity for the webinar. So good times. I totally feel like I received a return on investment. You know, when I signed up with Brie, I was nervous about spending that money because I had taken this huge leap and, you know, I only had three months of savings set aside. So I was nervous about it. And I've gotten that back in spades, not necessarily, um, you know, not necessarily I'm, mommy warbucks right now but the the confidence and the um like i said the badassness that i have gotten out of that was 10 times worth what i paid for the program for someone who is on the fence and thinking about joining this program i would really invite them to ask if where they are if they can get to where they want to be by themselves. If they are not feeling confident, if they're feeling wishy-washy, if, if their comfort and their fear tends to have more power than their dreams, and they can't really 
get a clear grasp on who the future version of themselves is, then I would say this program is definitely something that is going to be beneficial for them. If I was talking to an entrepreneur about this program, which I have, by the way, but if I was an entrepreneur just chewing the fat with someone about this program, I would strongly recommend this because being an entrepreneur, if nothing else, tests who you are or who you think you are at your core. And if you are wavering at all, that's going to bleed into your business and your ability to be, to have the success that you want to have or not. So um, I, I think it's really important for entrepreneurs, especially because we spend so much time by ourselves and it's so easy for us to get into our heads. Um, I would certainly recommend this to an entrepreneur who, you know, is just, they're wavering, they're on the fence or just questioning um, what they're doing. I would recommend it. You know, I'll just say this for people who are considering something like this or feel like they need some support. I really strongly recommend for people to take advantage of this. I mean, this program came to me at a time where I was really excited and I had a lot of momentum and I knew that I needed that, I needed some additional strength in the background to keep me going because I knew that challenges were coming. I knew they were. And no matter how much I was visualizing and how excited I was and how action oriented I was, I knew that challenges were coming and that things were gonna get a hell of a lot harder than they already were. And that if I did not have the support that I had in this program, not only from Bree, but from the other women who are going through this program, having that support system is priceless. It's priceless. And um, I am so thankful that I was a part of this experience. That just, that is something that gives me um, strength and encouragement when maybe mine is not, um, mine isn't enough. So I really uh, am so thankful for this experience and I encourage anyone who's on the fence um, and needing some additional strength to, to take advantage of this.